Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Stories, Episode 71, Bothersome Brake Van. Donald and Douglas are Scottish twins on the island of Sodor. When they first arrived, they had problems with the brake van that Douglas destroyed. It has since been rebuilt, and the dislike for the brake van in Donald and Douglas has not changed. One day, the twins were at Knapford Station with the brake van and were forced to have a conversation with him. Good news, Douglas. You have a goods train later today, and I'm your brake van. You better not misbehave. I'm not afraid to do what I've already done to you. And if you need, I have no problem being your back engine, said Donald. Please, said the N.W. brake van. If anything, you two need to be worrying about me. As the three continued to talk, Stanley came in with the goods train for Douglas. He then coupled up to the N.W. brake van and took him to the back of the train. Stanley then pulled up next to Donald. Douglas, are you sure you're going to be fine? I know how much trouble that brake van's caused you in the past. I should be. Thank you, Stanley. Now don't forget, you'll have Hector, so if anything goes wrong, you'll at least have him. Yep, and I also have my twin Donald here if I ever need anything. Yep, old Douglas should be fine. Alright then, best of luck. And Stanley puffed away. After Stanley left, Douglas coupled up to his goods train. Best of luck, Dougie. I'll be at the docks waiting for you. Thanks, Donald. And with that, Donald left for the docks, and Douglas took the goods train to the docks. Douglas knew the first obstacle would be getting up Gordon's hill. Hold back, cried the N.W. brake van, but nobody would. Help him up, help him up, said Hector. And slowly but surely, Douglas took the goods train up Gordon's Hill. When they went down Gordon's Hill, the N.W. brake van cried, Faster! Faster! This time, Hector couldn't stop the momentum of the heavy goods train as they sped down Gordon's Hill. Whoa! cried Douglas as they went up a little hill. The momentum kept on going as they sped through Wellsworth Station. They were going so fast, they didn't even have time to say hello to Victor. Whoa, that's a fast goods train if I'd ever seen one. Douglas and the goods train were approaching the docks. Donald saw how fast the goods train was going and knew he needed to do something to stop it. So as Douglas came by, Donald went out and coupled up to Douglas. Apply your brakes, cried Donald. The two engines did and they were able to stop the goods train right before a little hill. They then put the goods train into a siding. Douglas then told Donald all the exciting events that happened with the N.W. brake van as his brake van. The two continued their conversation at Knapford Station as they told Stanley and Victor all that happened. So you really needed to go in front of them and stop right before you went up a hill? Yep, it was a close one, but luckily I was there. I knew I'd need my brother for this one, haha. <laughs> the four engines continued their conversation as the brake van watched from afar. Later at night, the N.W. brake van was by himself at Knapford. It wasn't for long, as Diesel pulled up next to him. Don't worry, that's what those engines have done. That's what Duck used to do with me, but now he's long gone. If you need anything, ask me. And before the brake van could even say a word, Diesel had already left.